In the previous video, we talked about a small Mojave heat unit that dries atmospheric air to purge power transformer tanks. This equipment protects the windings from moisture and maintains the required dielectric strength of the insulation, preventing the ingress of water into the transformer from the outside. Globecore also produces a high-capacity Mojave heat, supplying 150 cubic meters of dry air per hour. The principle of operation of the unit remains the same. Air passes through a column filled with the sorbent. As the air passes through the sorbent, the sorbent absorbs moisture from the air and captures it in its granules. But unlike the previous model, the Mojave heat contains two absorbers with 190 kilograms of absorbent each. This solution makes the air drying process more flexible. You can use both absorbers simultaneously or alternately. In the latter case, the air drying process becomes continuous. As one absorber dries the air, the other operates in the sorbent reactivation mode. After four hours, the second absorber is ready for operation, while the first, if necessary, can be switched to the sorbent reactivation mode. Dry air produced by Mojave heat can be used not only to protect the insulation of transformers from water by blowing dry hot air into the tank, but also to address other problems. Reactivation of sorbents in other equipments, such as zeolite, silica gel, aluminum oxide, etc. Drying of communication cables, drying of hay, grain, root crops, vegetables, and fruit. Although a Mojave heat operator does not require lengthy training to operate the machine, and the control of the unit itself is not difficult, we have developed an automated model for ease of operation. We will take a look at that system in our next video. You can find more information at www.globecore.com.